This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. The annual Comic-Con in San Diego conference, it starts this week in California, yes. The event regularly attracting over 100,000 comic book and movie fans. It's run by Comic-Con International. That's a non-profit organization. But another company that runs Comic-Con events is Wizard World. It's a for-profit company, and it is planning to hold 16 Comic-Con events by the end of this year. I'm joined from Los Angeles by its chief executive, John Macaluso. John, great to have you with us. Uh, explain for people what exactly is uh, Wizard World? Wizard World is a live event um, company that produces Comic Cons and other events through the through the country. Give us an idea of some of the locations and some of the uh, attendance records. So we have we have our next show which is in San Antonio at the uh, at the uh, end of July and then our biggest event is in Chicago and then we go to Nashville and we go to Ohio, we go to Tulsa, we go to Reno, for the, that would round out this year. John, tell us about the celebrities and the franchises that are involved in some of these conventions. Uh, we get some of the biggest celebrities in the world. We get from Chris Hemsworth and Norman Reedus and Patrick Stewart and Bill Shatner and Bruce Campbell and Evan Peters and Zach Quinto. Um, we, we get Whoopi Goldberg, who was just at our last show in Philadelphia. So it, it's, it's a, we get a real across-the-board um, celebrity, star-studded celebrity attendance. John, tell us about the connection between the comic book franchises and the movie industry. Well, you see what's happening in the movie industry. The, the percentage of fantasy movies being made is growing in leaps and bounds. You look at the shows on television like The Walking Dead that went from 500,000 viewers to 20 plus million viewers. So the base of the audience is growing in all different directions from sci-fi and um, um, horror and zombies. Horror and zombies. John Macaluso, are you on the lookout for new comic book franchises? We're on the lookout always. We would love to find the next Walking Dead. And how do you do that? Do you visit these conventions yourself? Is there a separate program for those people, those individuals that are being creative in the comic book industry? At, at every event that we do, besides having the celebrities, we, we, we bring in many creators and we bring in many artists, up to hundreds. We'll have close to 450 artists and creators at our Chicago show. So a big part of coming to one of our conventions is besides meeting the celebrities, you get to meet the actual creators, the actual artists that have done your favorite comic book for years. You get to meet all the, the vendors that we bring in that sell merchandise that if you're a fan of popular fiction, then you're ready for uh, an enjoyable, great day. John, give us an idea of how much does it cost to attend one of these conventions? It, we, we, there's a general admission price. You could buy a, a, a one-day ticket for around $25 or $30. You could buy a four-day pass for $100. You could buy VIP packages, depending on who it is, for hundreds of dollars. In talking about specific characters, we know about Iron Man, Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. What about Thor, and what about a female Thor? Well, you know, we've had Chris Hemsworth come to two of our shows, and besides being a great actor and a great Thor, he's actually a great guy. So it's really a pleasure to meet him. You know, we get Stan Lee, who creates all of the, who, who's created all these characters. So you could be in a photo opportunity, and you could have Chris Hemsworth standing next to Lou Ferrigno, who was the Hulk. Who would John Macaluso want to stand next to? I'd be happy standing next to my wife and kids. Well done. Thanks very much. John Macaluso, a Wizard World Chief Executive Officer and President, joining us from Los Angeles.